Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Ryan Freeman. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install, save, and apply audio track presets in Adobe Audition. I'll be installing my podcast voice processing preset pack for Audition, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. So installing these presets in Audition is actually pretty simple. It's a little more unorthodox from a more traditional way of just kind of clicking and dragging a folder. But not to worry, we'll have you up and running in no time. It's not that hard. Just takes a little more time. All right, let's do it. So when you download my podcast voice processing presets for Adobe Audition, it will be a zipped folder. So you'll want to unzip it. And then that folder will look like this, the podcast voice processing for Audition. I also have it for Audacity, GarageBand, and Logic. And I also have podcast mastering presets if you are interested for Audition, GarageBand, and Logic Pro. So to install and save and apply your Adobe Audition presets, you'll want to go into this folder. You'll see it has a text document with detailed install instructions. If you'd like to read, it's the same install instructions for a Mac or a Windows. And within the processing folder, um, I've also included some demos of male and female voices at a peak volume of minus 12. And I did this because I wanted you guys to have a point of reference for raw audio that you should be recording with a peak of minus 12. So somewhere between minus 12 and minus 24 dB, that's kind of that sweet spot to be recording your raw audio in. Because these presets that I've designed interacts best with raw audio that peaks at minus 12 dB. Um, because it really depends if it's louder or quieter that initial uh, volume of the audio signal, it'll interact and kind of trigger the compressors differently. And the EQ, you might have to do slightly larger curves or smaller curves. Um, so I also have a bit of a tool in there for you being an amplify or gain um, kind of effect that you can turn up or turn down your uh, raw audio. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. So this is what we really want to be looking at that has all of your user presets in it. You'll want to double click it and it will open in Audition. So once it's opened, each of these tracks, it's just a session file, and each of these tracks in the editor has its own presets on it. And I've gone ahead and labeled it here for you. So what you want to do, since like I said before, there's no kind of like back-end way of just clicking and dragging user-made presets, what you'll want to do is go into the session file and you'll have to save under the effects racks, you'll have to save the preset. And that's how you build out your presets here. And then once you've saved it, you know, you can click through and try different variations. We have 10 presets for the male voice and 10 for female voice. We have it for high male voices, low male voices, and mid voices with a light, medium, and hard intensity. Uh, variation for each of these kinds of tones of voices. So I really want to give you as much variety and options as possible so you can find the perfect preset that fits your voice. And then as an other kind of just a bit of a fun option, I have a uh, I've created a preset for phone calls since I know a lot of uh, podcasts kind of host interviews with guests over the phone. So I like to work in this radio production tab. I just think it looks best for podcast creation within Adobe. And if you can't find your effects rack where it has all the presets on it, just go to window, make sure the effects rack is checked. Of course, if it's not, it's gone. Make sure it's there and there you have it. So what you want to do is click on the track that you want to save the preset for. For example, I want to do the RF podcast voice, male, low voice, zero one, light. I'll double click this and I'll just copy it. Command C and you'll see why. Go over to your presets and click this save effects rack as a preset. You'll save it, preset name, copy and paste these are all the preset names and I've kept them nice and organized for you. I mean, you can really name it whatever you want, um, but I'd recommend naming it what I've kind of outlined it here for. And say, okay. And as you can see, I've already installed all of these presets, so I don't need to overwrite it. And there you have it. So what you'll want to do is go to the next track. Once again, copy, go down here, save effects, paste. Okay, overwrite, you'll, you'll just go and save. And you'll do that for all 20 presets. And then you can go into here 
and then you'll have your podcast voice presets perfectly outlined for you right there. And like I said earlier, I also have a podcast mastering preset, which you can purchase on my website. So once we've gone through the 20 presets and we've saved them each individually uh, with their specific names, I want to now show you a bit of a before and after on how we apply these presets. Extremely simple, and you'll be able to see the difference and power of these voice processing presets. So here, as you can see, we've clicked on our first track. We have zero effects going on. I'm going to bring in that demo audio file that I was talking about. Let's do a male voice. Click and drag. There it is. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets. Recorded on the Electro Voice RE20, the classic radio broadcast microphone. So what you want to do is click the track. You go down here to effects rack. Once again, if you can't find effects rack, go window effects rack. You go presets, click that. And for me, my go-to is the male mid voice medium. So the way I've designed these presets is that the medium options are more or less my go-to processing for these kinds of styles or tones of voices. And if you don't like it, if you need something that's a little more compressed or a little more EQ'd, you hit the hard. And if the medium is just a little too much for you, you can try the light. So that way you can really get these different variations and intensities and you can find the best preset that fits your voice. So for me, I would say I'm a mid-range voice and I'm going to go medium. So once again, I just want to point out, it's very important that these presets are designed for your raw audio to be peaking at minus 12 going into these presets. I've included a amplify button in case your audio is a little too loud or a little too quiet. So you want the peak of your audio to be around minus 12. These presets are designed for both male and female voices of all tones. They've been created to sound great. So it's important that it's between minus 24 and minus 12 dB. Um, that's in there. I've also included a noise gate effect for you. I usually don't use a noise gate on my audio processing, but I know a lot of people like to use it. So that's why I've kept it in there for you. I just have it naturally off. Usually if I want to do noise reduction, I'll have a third party noise reduction plugin that I'll throw on there. So I'm going to do a before and after comparison just to show you how good these presets really sound. So this is before. These presets are designed for both male and female voices of all tones. They've been created to sound great with any microphone. Let's turn it on. These presets are designed for both male and female voices of all tones. They've been created to sound great with any microphone. And there you have it. You have now successfully saved and installed these presets in Adobe Audition. I know it's a bit of a longer process, but I think it's totally worth it because now you have 20 amazing presets all right, so that's how you save presets in Adobe Audition. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments down below. I'll try my best to get back to everyone. All right, now get to making. Let's do it.